Wayne Bryant and Terry Talk and Anthony Powell and uh, how many different places. I yeah. uh, last time I saw you was uh, in Georgia. Yeah. And you had an okay game the next time you scored 52. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 Thank, thanks. How's <laughs> um, um, your game change? How's your perspective change? BLC? Um. Nothing really changed. We still have the same goals, um, just to just to come out there and win and compete. Um, and I think our team is really is really understanding um, the com how to compete. Um, I think in that league, that's important. So if we're gonna go back. Um, when, when you feel like this team realized its potential for this season, like how soon after? I still don't think we understand our position yet. Uh, I think we still just we're just really focused on just working as hard as we can. I think Coach said it. Um, it's just one of the one of the hardest working teams I've probably been around in terms of players um, just getting extra work and players just wanting to be the best player they can be. Um, I think that's the that's the recipe for success. How do you I mean, obviously the expectation from outside is, is there um, because of the talent and the depth on this team. I mean, how, how are you guys handling that? It seems like as a team, Coach Surgeon are really kind of leaning into that and like kind of willing to acknowledge it and embrace it. Um, what are you guys doing as players? In terms of? The, handling the expectations yeah. that surround the program right now. Like I said, um, our focus is just getting on getting better every day. Um, I mean, if, if you look too much into that, um, I think that's all that always hurts you in a little bit. Um, that makes you not work as hard or not compete as hard. So at the end of the day, everybody is zero and zero right now. Nobody has a record. Um, so all we got to do is just go out and play as hard as we can. For sure. Um, I was kind of telling Don this a little earlier. Um, like I really look at it like it's my senior year now. Like at this point, I just want to have fun. Um, it's all, all the accolades, the preseason stuff is nice, but I just want to have fun at the, at the end of the day. And, have, and that's the main reason I came back is to have and play with these and play with these group of players. So I'm excited. When, when you look at where you guys are to start this season of practice, I mean, without having the massive freshman class like we did last year, do you feel like you're just starting at a different place now? Like you, you all yeah. know each other, know how we play. For sure, um, definitely. Um, our, 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 our sophomores are definitely took a huge step um, in terms of being a leader for us, and uh, I think that's big. Um, so it's not only me doing all the talking or, or Daryl doing all the talking, it's also the sophomores coming in and knowing how things like to be ran. So um, I think when, when we have multiple leaders on the, on the team, um, I think that's, that's a recipe for success. The Jacklin's Law Group's successes have resulted in many distinguished awards, including Best Personal Injury Trial Law Firm USA, Maryland's Personal Injury Attorney of the Year twice, and Super Lawyers designation every single year. We succeed because we're willing to try cases, and insurance companies know it. That's why their claim reps often grumble they pay us more in settlements than any other lawyers. You deserve a great lawyer. If you've been hurt in a car, truck, or train crash, call 855-BIG-DOG-1. This is Mason Miner. Listen to the Young Turps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. How are you guys managing that? Because Bruno obviously was such a, a loud yeah. leader. Yeah, yeah. Uh, our strength and conditioning coach, uh, Kyle Tarp, he said that, I remember our first lift, he said we don't have a Bruno no more, so that means everybody has to step up, and everybody has to be a little bit louder than they were last year, and I think that everybody really brought that in and uh, committed themselves to it. Kind of by committee For type. Sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Our spacing is, is getting a lot better. It's not, it's, it's not there where we need to be at, but it's getting a lot better. Um, obviously, if you see me play, I, I like to I like to get into a lot of space. I can I can create open shots and for, definitely for myself for over for others. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I can. When I, when I, a lot of space is necessary for any team. Um, but for our offense, we, we need it um, to be successful. So, um, and, our, and our coaching, our coaching staff is really helping us out as players to, to get us there in our offense. What do you feel like it means uh, to you to be a senior point guard? You know, both those things carry a lot of leadership. But like, what do you expect from yourself um, in terms of who you are as a leader? Yeah. Uh, I don't. 
want to put a cap on it. Um, I think that, I think the sky's the limit. Um, I don't want to put any expectations on myself, but uh, I think I can do a lot. Um, but I mean, it's not too many more, not too many of us are senior point guards, so uh, I just got to make the best of it. I think it's just in terms of like not on the court, but like yeah. off the court. Like, what do you want to be for your team? Um, just that, just that leader, just that person they can come talk to whenever. Um, I think I've been, I've been in college for so long. Um, I think I almost experienced a lot. So whatever they're going through, I probably, I probably went through it as well. So um, just someone that they can come and talk to. Do you, know, you know, Chris Sheridan has talked a lot about how much you guys gained from March Madness last year. Um, you just had a really close win and a really close loss. Um, what, how much do you think that did help this group to have those experiences? I don't think it helped a lot. Um, just to, first of all, get a taste of um, the NCAA tournament. Um, of course, everybody knows that was also my first one as well. So we're kind of all learning as we go. Um, but I mean, I think I think that's big time. I mean, I really don't really look look forward to the NCAA tournament yet, just because yeah. the regular season hasn't started yet. But. Um, yeah, it's, it's great that we have that experience under our belt. You guys haven't started practice yet, right? No, You're... Uh, Monday. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. 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 Going back to Jacksonville, somehow it's got to help in some way to give you what everybody can really be one of the five Yeah. You walk that sticks, you know, around you, and you walk right around you. Yeah. You want to go to Tiger. Yeah. Does that pain motivate? For sure. For sure, it's, uh, it's it's always reiterated um, around the court. Um, that just get every gives everybody a little boost that we need to work a little harder or we need to do something a little bit better. Um, nobody wants to experience that feeling. Um, so I think it's something that we needed really in the end of the day. Super competitive. Uh, obviously, you know we have a lot of depth on our team this year, so uh, you can only play five players at a time. So. Um, it's been very competitive. Last one or two. Oh, favorite Merlin uniform? Ooh, favorite Merlin uniform. It doesn't have to be from when you were there. Oh, okay. It your whole life in the Oh, and uh, I think they won, they wore, they won a, uh, wore a gray one in Brooklyn. Uh, I think they played Kentucky. Kentucky, right. That's my favorite. Yeah. And we'll never wear, wear those again just because they lost. So. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Well, that's true. And your biggest fan, what's he think about Biggest fan. fan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, he's super excited. Um, he's happy with the growth that I have, as a, not only as a player, but as a person. Um, so, no, he, he always just reiterates just to, just to have fun and enjoy your senior year. Um, uh, you only live, you only in college for, for, for a short amount of time, so just live it up. Yeah, for sure. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you.